crazy in the morning, crazy in the noonday, crazy when the sun go down, crazy in the morning, crazy in the noonday, crazy when the sun goes down. Let me tell you we crazy. Let me say crazy. <laughs> A lot of y'all know that, don't you? Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I done asked y'all to call in the Calvary to straighten out this perception of freedom gone mad. I done already asked you. I done asked. I said, won't you join me? I can't. I can't even get you to respond. Well, maybe you will respond to this story because it, it, it gets crazier. It's, it's, you know, and women are already vulnerable in a situation usually when it's dealing with men anyway. Okay? This story just rattled my feathers in so many ways. Um, I want to bring you these stories because they, they're too insane. And somebody tell me what the medium ground is. Now, I ain't talking about the transgender that went into the spa and I think it was Westwood. And went in there with junk slinging all around. There's little girls in there, in there with their mothers. And they were in there for a spa afternoon. Hit this man coming here swinging. I mean slinging. Talking about he's a transgender with a damn beard. Okay, okay. So this story is even crazy. This is a trans predator has been convicted of graping a friend with her penis. Now, let me tell y'all something. Like I've always said, the media is only the white is only the, the propaganda wing for white supremacy, okay, and for mind control, MK Ultra, you know, whatever you your hearts desire. That's what the medium the the media's goal is to keep you confused, okay. So you have to search for truth under that because they'll. They'll make, again, evil, fair seeming. Okay? And they'll try to make it act, make it seem as if something is wrong with you if you don't get with this madness. Okay? But hold on to your horses, baby. Hold on to your belief systems. Now, that doesn't mean be cruel to people. That does not mean to mistreat people and antagonize people. But what it does mean is that I'm not going for your sick stuff and you're not going to change my mind with your sickness and try to get me and try to turn the world against me because you're crazy. You're mad. I can go up here all day long because I love avocados and say I feel like I'm an avocado. Okay, and that's cool. But the minute I start trying to lay my big ass up on the uh, racks at the grocery stores with all the avocados saying that I'm an avocado, that's when they're going to call Maine Mental Health to come give me a visit and put me in a straitjacket. And that's what a lot of these people should be. And whoever's trying to get you to buy into this madness that you know is mad, okay. Like, like Caitlyn Jenner won, winning Woman of the Year. Okay? Woman of the Year. Look at this. And who's behind the madness? Anyway. Because I know y'all going to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a blackballed after this. So it don't really matter. No way. A trans predator has been convicted of graping a friend with her... Listen. Her penis. Makes, make it make sense, people. A trans predator has been convicted of, of, of graping a friend with her penis. 
just weeks after being released from prison for child sex offenses. Lexi Rose Crawford, a biological male who now identifies as a female, had previously been handed a four-year prison sentence for having sex with an underage girl. Then it got, she met online. So I'm going to say it again. He met online. He only began using a female name and a feminine pronoun around January 2019 when he was released from prison but within weeks had raped a vulnerable friend. See, what, what y'all going to do about this? Despite uh, her, her protests, the defendant began to grape the young victim. The victim said they only later rolled over and pretended to go to sleep to end the ordeal. Discussing why they did not try to fight Crawford off, they said, what could I have done without using physical contact to stop her? And then... That would have been me in the wrong by using physical contact to stop her. I don't get that one. Prosecutor David Scott suggested that Crawford's claim of memory loss, which had which had no medical evidence to back it up, was a convenient excuse, Mr. Scott said. And it appears that you can remember the good stuff, but you cannot remember the bad stuff. Are you pretending that you can't remember? <laughs> I'm not laughing be of, of anybody. Uh, I'm laughing because it's it's so not, it's so insane. It's so insane. Okay, Crawford, who inexplicably spoke with. A slight American accent, despite not having lived in the U.S., replied no. The prosecutor again asked, what, am I, what I'm going to suggest is this, that you did those things and you know exactly what you did, agree or disagree. And the Crawford replied, disagree. Mr. Scott said, is it just this, Miss Crawford, that you really can't bring yourself to admit what really happened to take full responsibility? And then Crawford said, well, that's not the case. Only now can it be reported that Crawford was jailed for having sex with an underage teenage girl in 2017. Then, then um, age 18, Crawford admitted to arranging to meet with the 15-year-old, taking her to a secluded woodland spot before telling her, you're about to get laid. The case comes in the wake of Scottish grapist Isla Bryson, who last month jailed for eight years for attacking two vulnerable female victims in their own homes while living as a man. Somebody please call in the perception of the, of the Calvary for this perception of freedom gone mad. You know, it's just like I was having a talk with a transgender individual, and that was male, female to male. Um, they're not going out for any sports. They're not doing any of those things because they already know they're not going to be as strong as a man. But what got me is that they felt that they needed to do that as opposed to just be a woman who likes women. I don't understand why you would mutilate your body or take do things um, because at the end of the day, if you're taking hormones to be a man, when it get down past, when it get down to your never regions, it's still going to be a vagina there. And you can make it a penis and, you know, do all kinds of, you know, claymation type of stuff, but it won't feel the same authentic way that a man that has blood running up and down his uh, a penis would feel. It won't it won't feel like that because it's artificial. Now that don't mean that somebody is against you. 
It just means that's not what you are. You making yourself that. Okay? That's a whole lot of difference, in my opinion, in saying I'm born being attracted to the same sex than saying I want to mutilate myself because I don't like what I see. That's another issue. A self-hatred issue. And so when you deal with that one, you might can still stand the same sex uh, situation without doing all those things to your body. I don't know. But I know I'm going to ask y'all because y'all y'all are pretty smart out there. You're a lot smarter than me. So I want to know what y'all opinion is. What do y'all think about this person going into the, um, that's being great, that grape somebody after being a, a, an offender? Lexi Rose. I, I need to know what y'all think about that. Please leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.